Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and in front of us we have the UUREKA and in this video I'm going to review the CM12.1 official update. The update came recently and um, it is available to download through the zip files as well. So there are some things that, uh, that have changed uh, in this uh, Android version. One of them is the app drawer. So if you if you have used uh, CM12.1 nightly then the app drawer is, hasn't changed for you. But if you are updating from Sign Engine Mod 12 to Sign Engine Mod 12.1, the official updates, then this is a new thing. So this is the new app drawer. They've done this uh, because the Android Marshmallow also has in scroll app drawer. First of all, and second of all, the thing is that uh, if for for right-handed, it's a little bit easy to reach uh, the apps. So this margin has been used by the uh, alphabet, so it's a little bit on the right side. So it's easier to use with one hand. Another thing that they have changed uh, that I have not liked and it was available in the, the Sun Engine Mod 12 official and as well on the Sun Engine Mod 12.1 nightly the customization of the buttons on the Sun Engine Mod it's practically available on each and every Sun Engine Mod phone and uh, they have removed it from this version I have no idea why they have done it and uh, I am really hating it because like my back button over here uh, just the way it says but the back button is over here on the hardware buttons but uh, on the uh, on screen buttons there's no option of customizing it in the previous versions we did had it and in this they have removed it and uh, i'm not really liking that another thing that they have introduced is that the display mode so if you keep it on automatic the display temperatures will keep on changing according to your external uh, light so right now the lighting is good so it has gone a little bit on yellowish or the warm temperatures so it uh, automatically detects also and we can also change it by our own self and uh, i keep it on off because it uh, keeps it on a little bit of uh, whitish color and i like that and in this update the sun engine mod has uh, integrated a calendar app as well so the calendar app has been integrated with the mail app if you get an email regarding an appointment or anything you would like to book so sign engine mod mail will automatically update it uh, to your calendar but it needs to be accessed by this email address so the email uh, uh, email client uh, powered by boxer so it won't be accessing by gmail but uh, it does the boxer does works well i'm uh, i'm okay with that and uh, they've also changed the audio fx uh, the softwares so the, it is still uh, the same uh, audio effects, uh, the same settings and everything, but the visual uh, visual UI has changed. And if you have used uh, Sun Engine Mod 12.1 official on the OnePlus One, it is the same software. Just uh, they have not included a, a logo called Max Audio. Uh, on this uh, OnePlus One, it comes as Max Audio, but on the UUREKA, as uh, it's not officially by Max Audio, so there's no Max over here. And in the performance point of view, there, there hasn't been a very big uh, major update or anything. But uh, yes, the phone is a little bit smoother compared to the previous performance. But there is a very big improvement in the temperatures of the phone. So I have been using it for a while and um, I noticed that uh, on the previous version, it used to get uh, heated up over here, the processor. So the heating has gone down and uh, guys do remember that we are treating it as a lower end or mid end phone so when you do a lot of gaming on this phone this will heat up but the thermals have uh, improved and the heating issues a little bit less another thing that they have added is the themes so the, this is the new theme engine from sign engine mod and uh, there's also an app themer which will help you theme up different parts of your uh, phone do not change the whole theme and just apply a couple of uh, particular things from uh, some uh, themes and we can even customize the themes like this so it's a little bit easier uh, on choosing so if i like the boot animation from this rom i will select this and we can just apply it and uh, if i if i like the controls over here i can choose it and everything is customizable and it's a little bit better and it also looks a little bit better so the themes looks better and the U theme is looking a lot better compared to the previous theme so that they made the icons that they are using is better and the color, th color themes is also better so as you can see the play store looks really good and the google chrome also looks very good so the update has been uh, good and the uh, here thermals are also better but they have taken out a couple of vital uh, settings uh, out like the buttons customization and the color collaboration which uh, i really don't prefer 
but still it's a uh, good work by sign engine mod and you for uh, for uh, delivering this update on the phone and the update is quite stable so if you guys have still not updated your phone and uh, think that uh, it will ruin it it uh, won't ruin it if you are not really worried about those two things that i have mentioned and you can surely install it so thank you guys for watching this video this was shown here from 24 7 techie showing you guys the sign engine mod 12.1 official update on the uureka slash plus because it will work on both the phones and please do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and you can help us a lot through that red subscription button and i really wish to see you in my next video till then see ya